Hey Scorpio, I hope you guys are doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-October 2021. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so not going to resonate for all Scorpios. But you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, Scorpio, what is going on for you? Second half of October. Oh, we have surrender. Okay, that's actually pretty positive. I like surrender. Surrendering to the universe, surrendering to what you feel, surrendering to a situation. It is what it is. So we're going to get into this and see. This could be you, this could be your person, it could be the both of you. Either way, the roles can always be reversed in general readings, so do keep that in mind. And let's see, Scorpio, what is going on here? Sun, Moon, Rising, and a Venus. All right. this deck but the cards do tend to stick together okay Scorpio what do we got here we have the three of cups crossed by the ace of pentacles all right for the situation here okay so it feels like at the moment um things are not feeling very fun between you and another person I feel like maybe meeting up is a little bit not working out possibly all right, with the Three of Cups being in reverse. And it feels like, you know, somebody is having a hard time here because this is the challenge, the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is having a challenge either trusting this path or trusting this connection or just wanting to take on a new path of stability. It feels like things are not very stable when it comes to the two of you um, having a good time together or, you know, just spending time together, enjoying each other's company, that kind of a thing. Or just meeting up so I do feel like there's not much getting together however in the recent past we do have the lovers Gemini energy um, but so yeah there was love here right there has been some romance some love could even be that you had a very deep connection with this person um, for your energy we have justice okay Libra and the seven of cups Oh, okay, so you're trying to you're trying to stay in balance is what I'm getting here You're trying to stay in balance even though you feel a little bit confused as to what is actually going on in this connection You are trying to keep the balance and I feel like you're, you're trying to really do what is right You're trying to do to stick to what you believe is the right path In hopes that that's going to bring some balance, but you are a little bit confused here for them We have the fool in reverse and the five of swords yeah, there's something going on with this person where I feel like there's a little bit of... I, I feel like it's this person who is not really taking much action or not taking much initiative with the full being in reverse. But I also feel like that is a little bit deceptive. So it might be that this person is not really presenting exactly what is going on with them. So we'll see when we clarify. For the near future, we have the... Ten of Swords. All right, could be a little bit of a challenge here coming up. Again, we'll see when we clarify, but in the potential outcome, we do have the King of Pentacles, all right? So that's stability. That is that commitment, which I feel is lacking here in the situation currently with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so let's clarify. Let's see the Three of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Okay, so the emotions are there. That's what I'm saying. We have two pages here, by the way. So yeah, something though is off in this communication or is off when it comes to trust. It feels like somebody might, because we do also have quite a bit of Pentacles here, I do feel like somebody might be either a little bit fearful of committing or somebody is just not trusting 
themselves in a commitment. And so because of that, you know, the communication between the two of you might be a little bit um, shaky. All right, with the two of pentacles. Yeah, that's how it's coming across. It's coming across as just shaky. It doesn't feel like this relationship is or this connection is on sturdy ground. It's like the ground is just shaky. So you can't you can't trust it. And I feel like the other person can't trust it either. But I do feel like it's mostly the other person who is more fearful of this, not trusting this first. And so then that creates um, a lack of trust on your end as well. Like you don't know where this stands or where this is going or what's going on, which is why you also have this confusion here. But the emotions are here. That's the thing. And it could even be, you know, that when when the two of you do communicate that there is an expression of emotions, but then but then there's no stability though in everything else on, on a practical level. All right. Let's see justice for your energy. And I will say once more, do keep in mind, the roles can definitely, definitely be reversed, okay? That's just how energy works. Like, I actually think feminine, masculine energy would probably um, work better, but, but this is how we're doing it. You and them. <laughs> All right, so clarifying justice, we have temperance, the three of cups in reverse again, and the three of wands in reverse. Yeah, Scorpio. See, it's exactly what I said. You're trying to, you're trying to maintain a state of balance within your own self, and possibly even with this connection. I feel like you're trying to really like hold some kind of moderation. Like you're trying to not text this person too much. Maybe you're trying not to push this person. You're, but at the same time, you know, um, you're just trying to be. How do I say this? Not like proper, but like. You're trying not to, you know, go overboard. You're trying to just do what you feel is right. And giving them space, for example, or letting them work out whatever it is that they need to work out. It's showing up like that. But again, right, this three of cups in reverse, just like the main situation, it doesn't really fulfill you, right? That this connection, like you're feeling like, well, I'm not really enjoying it like this. And it's like you, you have different expectations. You were waiting for something that just didn't, end up really happening or it just feels like it's taking too long but it's like you're still there you're still like you know what no I'm gonna keep my balance it's okay I'm not gonna ask this person why or you know maybe you do but like again you're just you're, you're trying not to be pushy and that is a good thing that is a good thing let me see the seven of cups All right, and we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so yes, I feel like, why do I feel like we keep getting this Knight of Wands in reverse or just the Knight of Wands in your readings? Um, again, instability, shaky ground. Somebody is in and out. Somebody is hot and cold. You know, or they're really warm in one aspect, but then just not really there, you know, in another aspect. And that creates a lot of confusion for you. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the fool in reverse. Why is this fool in reverse? This person is not really taking much initiative. The nine of cups, the four of pentacles and judgment in reverse. Yeah, this person is holding back a lot. Um, this person definitely wants this connection with you. That's the thing. This person sees you as their nine of cups. But they're holding back. They're holding back because there's a truth here that they are having a hard time um, admitting to themselves. Having a hard time possibly seeing something clearly. Let me see that five of swords. Because it feels like it's it's like self-deception. The 
Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands. I also have one more peeping out here. It's the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this person, this person, this person. Again, this person has a lot of, I even want to say sexual energy towards you. Um, this person finds you very desirable, right? There's some ego here. There's some ego involved, which could actually be keeping this person back. Now, this ego could be related to anything. It could be that this person wants to, you know, be single. Maybe this person wants to, you know, have their freedom and be able to, you know, just do what they want, <laughs> basically, um, especially on a physical level. But again, it's like they're deceiving themselves because what they truly want is this Nine of Cups with you. It's like you are what would fulfill them. You are their wish. What, what, yeah, you are their wish, basically. And it's really just a matter of them not um, denying that to themselves anymore. And I feel like that's why we have the surrender, because it's all a matter of this person surrendering to how they feel. It's like this person feels like they, you know, by keeping their distance, not going after what it is that they want. It's, it, this person is the king of wands in reverse. Um, definitely could be a fire sign, all right, that, you're, that some of you are dealing with. Doesn't have to be. Um, we also have a lot of Earth signs showing up. We do have, as I said, Gemini and Libra. But this person feels like, you know, by doing this and by holding back, they feel like they're winning at something. And it could even be, you know, their, their status, their pride, how they feel um, about themselves or how others view them, like impressing others or just feeling like, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you know, so, so powerful. I'm so, you know, whatever whatever positive quality they want to attribute to themselves by doing this. And it's it's deceptive. It does look like things are changing though, okay? Because we do have this King of Pentacles. So I don't know if it's going to be the same person or if it's um, somebody else, but somebody here is really um, coming in as as stable as can be. But first, we have this Ten of Swords, so let's see that. <laughs> okay. All right. This, <laughs> I'm telling you, this person is like driving me crazy. <coughs> I'm surprised at your patience with this person, honestly. Um, okay. But we do have, you know, I mean, we can have compassion. That's totally okay. Um, as long as we're not being taken advantage of or being stepped on. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles in reverse now, the Chariot, Cancer showing up, and the King of Cups. Again, the feelings are there. The love is there. But, you know, that's... what. So what? What's the point of having that if you're not going to have that King of Pentacles, right? Because here it's showing up in reverse. So I feel like, you know, this connection is going to pretty much come to this point of having to hit rock bottom. Someone's going to feel like there is an ending to this. And I don't know whose side that's going to be on. It doesn't really matter, okay? So just be, you know, prepared for that. It could be from this person feeling because maybe you're going to walk away, for example. I don't see that, but it could be that you're walking away. Right? because we do have the chariot it could be that you're walking away from this um and that, so this person is going to feel this ending and it's going to create a lot of pain right because they've been this pentacle king of pentacles in reverse like the love is there but the actions are not the emotions are there but where's the stability where's the consistency um and i feel like that's going to make them feel like they're losing control at the same time, it, it could be that you, I definitely feel like this is for your person, but it definitely also could be for you as well, okay? You might feel this. You might be like, you know what? I'm walking away, but it does hurt. It is disappointing. So it might feel like an ending here, but we do have the King of Pentacles showing up as the potential outcome. So let's see.
Who is this King of Pentacles? All right, the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. I feel like this is something that you don't even know what this is, <laughs> what this is coming in. Um, it could definitely be this person for some of you moving in that direction. But what I'm getting is that for those of you where it is this person, it's not happening just yet. It's, it's like Spirit is saying this ending needs to happen first. And that energy is moving this poor person towards fully understanding, you know, what this King of Pentacles is and what it is that they truly want in terms of commitment and in terms of stability. And it's moving this person in that direction. I don't feel like it's happening just yet, though. Okay, that's, that's the point of this message here. I do also uh, pick up that for some of you, there might be somebody else that's coming in. And it's really going to be up to you whether you want to take that offer or not, okay? Because th whatever this is, it's going to be very stable, all right? But when it comes to this person that we've been talking about, they are moving in that direction, but it's, it's not happening just yet, like in the next two weeks, for example. They are surrendering, though. It's just taking some time. All right. Scorpio. Final message for Scorpio, if this resonated. Okay, and we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. I feel like someone else got this as well, but I can't remember which sign it was. But um, yeah, you know, look at the bigger picture where this is leading you first, first of all. And then also that, you know, there is a lesson in this for this person as well. All right, it's, it might be taking a little bit of time, but it is moving them towards a place of stability and commitment gradually. So really, it's up to you. Keep the bigger picture in mind, Scorpio. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and much love.